Hi there, we are here bringing another very curious study for you who follow our channel. Uh, in this case, we're bringing to you the Toku Jime, uh, the new series called Shizen's Ancient Legacy. So this is a very interesting historical uh, actually application to restrain. So if we go back to the kanji, when we talk about Toku, it comes from quickly. And Jime, that comes from Shime, is to lock or to close. So this was a very uh, painful <laughs> restraining technique applied from uh, the god or the bodyguards uh, in a situation where a person was a traitor or represented any kind of dangers. Uh, in the 70s, uh, some masters decided to apply also uh, with the jaw as an auxiliary weapon or auxiliary instrument. So here we have also the tambo. I will be your uke today because those painful techniques requires a flexibility not to harm too much and we have here Shidoshi Luis Nogueira at my left that will be uh, or Tori so he will be explaining to you how to manipulate the, the sword or how to apply the restraining techniques while I will be uh, describing to you the feeling that uh, of being uh, restrained by, by those techniques. So um, please follow his instructions. Thank you very much, Mr. Julian. Okay, let's go to, to explain right now one of the most basic techniques for applying this Tokujime, but it's a broad study, it's a broad method, that the idea is to restrain the full body with his own, in this case, her her own katana, or and Sir Julian has explained you could apply in the ancient times, mainly tambo, and in sometimes yute that are the, the main eight weapon for the for the for the samurai to restrain. Then let's go. In, in this case, I will be moving from the backwards in order to catch to grip her own katana on the on the point on the area of the handle. I will take forward and move backward in this way because in this position the uh, the saya left will move forward and the saya will be stopping will be blocking uh, the humerus area and he and her uh, her her elbow here. So for you that actually are watching, for me as a uke, I'm unable to take up my arm. Maybe you think that as the angle that he's holding the sword, I could bring my thorax forward and take out my arm. But the truth is that he's going to apply pressure exactly over my elbow. Okay, and the pressure also, if in this case to be a safer application, will be on the humerus. It's very painful for, for what the person that actually is my place. So here he's holding the sword in a very comfortable angle just because he's explaining to you but again if I try to move forward and try to take out my arm he probably will uh, go with me so he will continue applying that pressure over my elbow. Okay my my position right now it's a uh, it's a position for explana explanation uh, tip is to say this is only because I have stopped the technique in order to follow with the, with the idea. Right now what I will do is to touch the other, the other wrist and take it backward in order to make a cross with the tsuka. Right here the pressure is so strong I will release a little for not, uh, for not injure because you are here and what I will do is to go backward, restraining her, uh, her shoulder and put the wrist into the handle. In this point, this will cross and the pressure is so strong here, she is suffering a little right now here. <laughs> yes, I will tell you what I feel. So from this angle, please, please you can leave it there okay. for a while, yes, because I'm, I'm using my knee here to try to reduce the pressure. But the thing is that on that angle, I have my, my shoulder, my right shoulder is blocked. 
the normal thing I'm going to release here just to explain to you. The normal thing on this uh, angle is you see we have this uh, limitation here. So the arm tries to come forward to release the pressure that we feel on the shoulder. So in this case, as I have here the tsuka, for, for an instance, this pressure that my right shoulder tries to apply to release uh, the, the pain that I feel on my right shoulder actually complicates the pain that I feel on my left elbow. So it's a kind of leverage uh, situation what we have here to try to compensate uh, and try to release the pressure of one arm what happens at this it makes more complicated for uh, the pressure that we have on the elbow so it's completely impossible for me to get out of this uh, of this restraining techniques